which I think came out the same time as Sinister. Um, like they were in the theaters at the same time, roughly. Yeah, yeah. You know, both both from uh, you know same company. Yeah. So. Okay. Let's right. let's read this one. Um, all of the activity has led to this. Uh, when Katie disappeared with her nephew Hunter, there were no survivors. Five years later, she's returned with a mysterious boy ready to target new victims with her demonic rage. Now a family's young daughter will capture every one of their terrifying occurrences, beginning with her new neighbor's arrival. It all leads to an ending so intense, it will leave you shaking. Whoa. Were you shaking in the theater when you saw this? I was, but that's because I had to pee really bad. So I was like, come on, end movie, I gotta piss. I was shaking. Not really. Actually, when I was in the theater at the end of it, I went, oh boy. <laughs> I'm like, I'll give him one more chance. This was rough. Um, this one's rough. This is really boring. Mm -hmm. There are like fake out scare. I think there's one with like a cat. And that's my question with when a lot. You got a cat, when you got to throw a cat scare in there. <sighs> that's a, that's my, my problem with like a lot of these movies. It's like, Who's editing them at this point? Because the first one made it feel like it was like police footage put together. But at this point, I'm like, why would you leave the cat scene in there? There's no reason for this. Well, if it if if all of these went by the realistic mm. thing where it's just they're kind of editing it together to yeah. do, it, they they'd be like a half hour long. Yes. Because it's like you wouldn't show like a couple arguing. Yeah. So you know, it's like no. this this would not nobody would put this into like police footage. Yes. So stupid. And the gimmick for this one was that it was including cell phone footage and laptop footage. Like Skype. Skype -ish, when that was like whatever, still big. You know. I don't know. I don't know if it was real Skype or it was I think it was fake. movie Skype. Okay. You know, it was kind of like it was wipe. You know, or, coming up in the nightmare on Elm Street, they use Giga Blast instead of Google. They blast off <laughs> <laughs> hype. They were using hype. hype. Um and then the other gimmick was the Xbox uh, 360 Connect. I did like that. I did like that. I did like that a lot. I thought that was neat. Because there uh, was uh, around... See, I don't remember the time frame exactly, but I remember there were uh, like YouTube videos where people were like... Uh, they, they had their, their mm. uh, connect on and there would be like a shadow behind them or something. And yeah. That was kind of cool. Where, so, or it would, it would be tracking the person and then it would be like, a second player has joined the game and there's nobody there. <laughs> I'm like, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, if you look at those old footage, like you put infrared on and it would detect the motion dots and whatnot. Um, they don't do as much with that as I thought they would. Although there is one funny thing when the kids are playing, it's just one kid playing, but the second avatar is moving. The guy's like, what's going on in the screen? And the avatar, it's like a fucking like me or whatever. It's like a Nintendo looking thing. Right. And it's just like looking at the camera. I'm like, so we're to assume that the demon is sitting there playing this via this boxing game. And he's, he's making a scary face, but to the camera. So the TV screen scares the guy. Like, what the fuck has happened? And I don't know why, whenever I imagine the demon, I imagine it as the devil from end of days. So I imagine in <laughs> like the big, not Gabriel Byrne, the big monster, right, the at big, the you know, the cloven hoof. You know, yeah, yeah. Just like playing it in like in the middle of the room. <laughs> uh, this one is again, like I said, so dull. Like I, I was real annoyed watching this. This is my first, the first appearance of Catherine Newton, who's now in everything. She's in Ant Man three. She's about mm. being Lisa Frankenstein. Oh, that yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, which I heard is set in the Jennifer's Body universe. And I'm like, does that just mean it's the similar thing? Why is would that be a shared universe? Why why do we need a Jennifer's Body verse? Like I don't know why we need that, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I just. I just don't care for the characters in this. Like, I don't. I just don't care about the family. I do like the dad. He unfortunately died before the movie came out, so mm. it's dedicated to him. But he's one of the Americans in the Mummy. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. What What are your thoughts? It's on this? It's okay. They They ramped up more creepy children because you had like the the neighbor kid. That, yeah. Hey, the creepy. Neighbor. I have I have questions about the kid, but continue. Yeah. Mm. Um. I honestly I didn't hate it like you did or mm. dislike it severely. I just thought it was like. You know, I, it was like, I, it, it wasn't good. It wasn't bad. I just kind of thought it was like, it was kind of okay. Yeah. Like there was, there was, you know, 
They ramped up more jump scares. There were a couple of effective things, but mm. it wasn't horrible. Um, I didn't really dislike it all that much. I just caught, I was like, okay, that was just another one of these. Yeah. Like you said about moving the story forward, I don't think they knew where they wanted to go. Because, mm-hmm. okay, so there's there's the kid who lives with the family. Mm-hmm. And Katie reveals that that is Hunter. But Katie has a kid. And in my mind, I'm like, oh, were the kids like switched at birth and the demon didn't realize it had the wrong kid and now it's hunting down the real Hunter? But then I read somewhere like, no, that kid is Hunter. And somehow Katie got another kid. Am I misreading this? It makes more sense that they would have been switched at birth, right? Right. Yeah. I think they just, they, I think some, like, probably, uh, the, you know, too many cooks. Yeah. You know, you got, well, we're going to do this, we're going to do this. Or, you know, and, and when you start to convolute lore, when there's, when you're going prequels and then sequels and then yeah you know, yeah that's when it's like you start losing it because now i'm like who the fuck is this kid yeah i do like how weird the kid is and they play, they make fun of him for how weird he is mm. he's like oh socks and sandals that's cool <laughs> um, but yeah i'm trying to think like i'm just trying to think of like scares and the little figure on the connects maybe i think at one point like the kid gets pulled into the bathtub but like that's it. Like even the girl floating, I didn't give a shit about. Yeah, I think with this, uh, they were trying to do like audience self inserts. Like yeah. previously, it was all like it was uh, you know Katie and Mika, so mm. they're like mid twenties, early thirties, whatever. And then in the other ones, it was mostly like the kids. Well, this it was all focusing on the teenage daughter. Yeah. So they were recognizing that even though this is an R-rated franchise, there's still a bunch of 12, 13-year-old yeah. girls that are going to see it. So I think they were trying to put her as like maybe they were trying to see if she could be the new face of the franchise. Yeah. Uh, and you know, moving forward. Yeah. And considering that it I think this is the first one that did well, but you know, not as well. No, it definitely went down a little bit, I think. Uh, and then Katie, who's on the run from law enforcement, has changed her appearance. Like, not, not at all. She just <laughs> looks like Katie. <laughs> there she is. She's hiding in plain sight somehow. Yeah, there, yeah. there's weird stuff where, like, oh, the ambulance is there. The kid's staying with us because his mom, like, was sick. And then she's fine. I'm like, I know she wanted to, like, that was just a weird setup. I, I thought it was just so bizarre. And then, again, she wants Hunter at the end. And then all the ghosts, are, the, all the witches are there at the end. And then it just kind of ends. They, though, I did like the thing where, like, the knife disappears and it comes back, like, way later. I thought that was cool. Yeah. Uh, but, no, it's just, it's a bad time. And it, the, the sad thing is it's the same directors who I thought knocked it out of the park with the previous one. And this was such a downgrade. And, again, like... This is the fourth movie. I'm like, okay, can we switch up the environments a little bit? Can we switch nope. them up? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> they, they, they yeah, did. They, they did for the next did. one. Um, yeah, I I don't have much to say other than they like it. You're right. They kind of paused the story, and it's now just Katie wants Hunter again. Right. But this time, it's the right Hunter, or somehow she lost Hunter. I don't know. And then it's like, okay, so. What does the demon want? What is he building up to? I know he wants the kid, but. I think probably if I had to guess yeah. was that they were looking at it from the perspective of, okay, we're getting too convoluted for our own good. Yeah. Let's put a button on this. And then they went to five, pivoted the story, and we're kind of showing it from a different direction. They're like, maybe because they that way yeah. they could still get it out. Yeah. Get another sequel out and maybe try to figure something out for the next one. Yeah, they figure something out, don't they? They certainly do. Let's talk about five. <laughs> 